Hi. I'm here to a uh, couple reasons. First of all, I have uh, 10 years ago Lent. Um, I gave up um, cigarettes and drugs and alcohol. And here I am 10 years later, um, very pleased to have a new world and a new life and just a new uh, improved moi. So I am, uh, I'm just really grateful for um, the, to God, just for gracing me with the uh, desire and the willingness to be able to give up all of that stuff. Um, I literally gave up everything on the same day and I had been a smoker for like um, 19 years, kind of embarrassing, and um, partied for most of that time. I was on and off, you know, two years here, five years there um, for some time, but smoked the whole time. And anyway, so I realized yesterday it was Lent and I'm free of all of that. Uh, a couple takeaways from that are that I think with drugs and alcohol and anything that we as human fleshly folks uh, will to do because we want the freedom to do whatever we can do, I personally found that um, being free to do all of that, which I was and I did uh, very well and very often and very long, was uh, binding me up in many ways and I was um, you're just bound by it right then it it rules you it owns you after after a while so it's um, really not free it's very deceptive in you think that you're free you're free to make a choice which we all always are free to make any choice uh, whether or not that is going to um, profit us though is another um, reason to further consider the choices that we actually make, but that is the, the main um, consideration on whether or not we will benefit from it really. And, you know, I think so many people don't think, oh, you know, don't think long term, don't think about the um, particular repercussions from that or any of the ramifications or that you're, you'll ever become addicted or it'll ever really rule you. Um, but anyway, so it did like anything that you do for a really long time. So um, it just becomes a habit. So habits are um, breakable. I have broken a great many habits, as I've just mentioned, and it's great to be free again. Um, so I have also broken the um, cigarette habit. I said that. Well, recently coffee. I'm up coffee for eight days, but that's not why I started this <laughs> video to begin with. Um, what have I stopped? Television. Television and sugar. So about 70 days in, I've had um, a recent breakthrough on the way home tonight. I thought that wouldn't it be nice or I would like to. I just had this feeling of I want to go home and um, sit on my couch and read a book and have some tea and just relax and um, I mean, I didn't really want any tea necessarily, but just wanted to read and relax, and that is a first. Um, first of all, I'm not much for um, making the time to relax, and secondly, I've never um, been one to say I want to go home and read a book. <laughs> so I'm always doing something working or something work related or personal or um but it's rare that i actually um take the time to to read so that was a great um experience for the four minutes that i did it tonight um so anyway it was just it was a it was a um point where i realized that there's been a shift that's been made and it's taken 70 days to get to this place of where I actually looked forward to reading and relaxing and um, finding another use for my couch other than watching the television on it. And I actually have read on it two, maybe three other times in these 70 days, but it was more a planned activity, not a real innate desire to... Um, to just go and enjoy myself and relax and get into a book. So that was a um, 
fantastic turning point for me. So I'm really pleased for that. And um, I'm off coffee for about eight days now. And so I found this tea that a colleague gave to me that I really liked. It's a yerba mate, morning thunder tea, and uh, it smelled awful, just terrible. And I thought, I don't, I'm not going to like that. And I liked it so much. And so I now, um, my colleague ordered me like six boxes. And so he came by today with those. And so I have um, tea for days. However, it's caffeinated. So... One of the reasons I wanted to get off coffee was because it's caffeinated and it's a diuretic and I am trying to be more supple, right? And <laughs> caffeine doesn't lend itself to supple tea, uh, if that is a word. So supplicious is coming to mind. And uh, so anyway, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. I just am trying to be pure and as pure as possible. And um, that was my desire 10, you know, 20 years ago to just to live a pure, clean life. I always had that desire. Um, not always, but for some time. And so even caffeine... Um, and then I'm off dairy also, so that's kind of another thing. And so I'm just cleaning up, cleaning out, and it feels good to have made this personal shift to um, to start to relax. So I did it for about four minutes, as I mentioned, and I had to get off to a lecture. I just enjoyed those four minutes because you can um, peaceably find yourself in um, a few minutes or less and just kind of have that peaceful relaxing uh, time moment in time where you just realize I like this I could do this I could you know this is something that I um, can be and get into and it just felt good it felt right it felt um, very mature so I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing <laughs> Um, but anyhow, it's a good thing to me to, um, feel like I like that place because I do, um, peace is the best and it's good to be peaceful and to feel peaceful. And I'm grateful that, uh, I am free and sober and clean and, um, just have a peace. So, um, that's it. And so thanks to God for helping me and, um, and just thanks to to me for persisting, I guess, and not giving up. I think one of the, um, and that's just it, just not giving up. I've quit so many things that I know you've got to get past a point, and then you will eventually um, come to another point and come to another place. So um, the encouragement that I offer anyone is stick with it because... Um, change happens. You've just got to be willing to persist. Okay, have a great day.